Well, here we are today, Niagara Falls on Ice. And I'm not talking Niagara Ice Wine here. We're talking Niagara Falls actually on ice, frozen. Now, you will find Niagara Falls, if, uh, if we get a long enough cold spell and a long enough cold snap, it will actually freeze over down below, not the falls themselves, but it will freeze over and you'll get an ice bridge over top of the falls from one side of the one country to the other, from Canada to the States. And uh, people uh, way back in the past, you can look it up, you'll find people walking across that. Uh, not allowed to do so, but uh, they did back then. Now, look at this. The trees are covered in ice. The roads are all wet here because, even though it's a sunny day, the roads are wet. And the roads are wet because of the mist from the falls. You might have seen it there. And that mist will actually it'll rise up when it's cold enough. And as it settles, it will freeze on whatever it touches. Everything here is covered in ice. Some of it's two inches thick. Now, what had happened here is we had a really cold couple of days, a couple of evenings. And this is what happened. And... That there is the Rainbow Bridge, the American Falls. And look, look at the ice. It's beautiful with the sun shining on it. And as it says here, Niagara never sleeps. Ice on the trees, ice on the railings, ice on their roofs. It's everywhere. And the sun shining on it is just, a, it's a crystal world. Now there's a flagpole. Now. Here we are. There's the Rainbow Bridge. Goes across from Niagara Falls, Canada to Niagara Falls, U.S. Watch the ice come off this roof here. The sun's warming up the roof. The bottom, underneath the ice, it's, it's thawing out and it's slipping off the roof. And every time we try to get a whole sheet of that flying off the roof, we missed it. And uh, as you can see there, look at the water dripping off. And it's cold. It's freezing outside. But that sun is hitting that and warming up underneath. And the water is rolling off. Skylon Tower, famous landmark. This is inside Table Rock House, the second floor. Underneath here are some shops. And again, there's the Canadian Falls, the Horseshoe Falls. You can see the mist there rising up over top, up into the sky. Depends which way, the, uh, Rainbow Rainbow Bridge, that's where the name came from. And that mist, as you can see there, depends on which way the breeze is blowing, it's where it's going to settle. And as you can see, the night before, the day before, this is what happened. Everything is covered in ice. The railings, all that wrought iron railing, the bushes, the trees along the edge of the, uh, the falls. It's a really beautiful thing to see. Winter time in Niagara Falls, a time, of, a time that most people never consider visiting here. If you're into some cold weather and you don't mind it, great place to visit. If you're from the south, you're from a warm climate, bundle up and see something totally unique, something different. Do some cross-country skiing, ice skating, do whatever you like. Winter sports, that's the name, that's the theme. Now, as you look across the brink of the falls here, that is an amazing place to stand. You can get closer to it when the ice is not there in the summertime. And you, it's, it's virtually you're standing right on top of the falls. Even the light poles, just coated in ice over the Christmas decorations, everything. Here we go again, the American Falls, the small skinny ones, the Bridal Falls. Here we go into the Horseshoe Falls. This is the one you usually see the big pictures of. Safe walking. Concrete barricade between you and the traffic. How about a little Tai Chi? Chi. Now again, this is the walkway across the Niagara Parkway into the Table Rock House in the parking lot. And also from the, uh, the uh, a cable car that goes up the uh, hill, up the mountain there alongside of it. You can catch it right there also. It takes you up to, the, up to Falls View Casino. Shopping area. Restaurant. Good place to visit. Remember, 
you like this video, I like videos like this along this lines about traveling to different areas, subscribe. It won't cost you a dime. I won't charge you anything, and neither is YouTube. Thank you again.